Hi everyone. In the previous lectures, we have seen the introduction to finite state machine. I told you that a sequential circuit that is also a finite state machine. Okay, we have seen many different type of uh, finite state machine. Okay, and I told you that uh, in digital logic, the finite state machine that we study, these are basically transducers. Okay, this Mealy machine, Moore machine, and sequential circuit. Okay, all these are basically they compute functions. So you give some input and you will get some other output. Okay, so I can say that they they compute functions. So these are basically transducers. Okay, so remember this finite state machine in uh, in in theory of computation, the finite state machine that you study that is DFA NFA. Okay, and these are finite automata DFA NFA. They are basically language recognizers. Okay, but you can notice in digital logic we study the finite state machines which are they compute functions which are basically transducers okay so this we already know and in the last class we have taken this example in for this example we have created a state diagram of the finite state machine okay so you can notice that a finite state machine okay that can be represented using a state table or a state diagram okay so in the last class we have already taken this problem and for this problem what we have done we have created the state diagram so like this you will get the state diagram so this is state, state diagram we have created okay now you can notice that uh, this state diagram we have done you can also create the state table from this state diagram you can very easily create the state table okay so you can notice in this state diagram okay uh, you can notice that if you are in this state if you are in state a okay if you are in this state a and if the input is a zero in this state a if the input is zero then you can notice in this state a if the input is zero the next state will be a and the output will be zero okay similarly you can notice that in this state a in this state a if the input is one in this state a if the input is one then the output will be b uh, then the next state will be b and the output will be zero okay like this you can see for example in this state c if you see one if the input is one then the next state will be d and the output will be one okay so like this you can create the state table okay so this state diagram we have already seen in the last class and from this state diagram you can create the state table okay and what this means this means that if you reset the uh, this uh, this machine so you have this machine okay and this machine if you reset if you reset then what will happen if you reset then the next state will be this a and the output will be zero okay so anyway this is the state table so from the state di diagram you can create the state table very easily okay now you can notice that the finite state machine that we want to study these are basically transducers so okay so you can notice in a digital logic in a digital logic we are not interested in languages in, in theory of computation we study languages we study string language and all these things we study but in digital logic what we want in digital logic we are interested in sequence circuits okay so you can notice that in digital logic the fsm the finite state machines that we study these machines are basically i can say these are basically sequence circuit okay so in digital logic we study sequence circuit okay so from the digital logic point of view remember we are going to study what is fsm finite state machine so in the digital logic finite state machines are basically transducers they are transducers transducers means they compute functions okay so they compute they compute some function okay so this this is your transducer this is your transducer and you can notice if this is your input then they will compute some function okay so, and okay so this we have already seen now let us see what is the definition of this transducer okay so you can notice very simply in the okay in toc you study something called in theory of computation you study dfa that is deterministic finite automata okay so this dfa you study okay you dfa nfa this dfa is what here in this dfa you have initial state there are some set of states okay so there are some set of states and there is some initial state and you have transitions from one state to another you have transitions and there is an input symbol so you can notice in this dfa what you have in this dfa you have set of states you have initial state okay this is your initial state and what else you have you have transition function how to go from one state to another you have transition function you have input alphabet okay so these things you have and also there is something called set of final states because remember this dfa comma nfa these are basically they are language ac acceptors okay so these are yes no machines these are yes no machines i can say these are automata okay this dfa this is a automata and i told you automata means basically okay they they are language recognizers so this dfa nfa these are basically language recognizers 
okay so in this df you have these type of things set of states initial state how to go from one state to another so this transition function and input alphabet and set of final state this set of final state to accept or reject okay to accept or reject to accept or reject okay so basically if you want to accept so basically i can say final state means to accept the strings to accept strings i can say set of final states you have to accept strings okay now similarly similarly this uh, this transducer okay so what we need to study we need to study transducer finite state machine okay so similarly this finite state machine also has some set of states so this finite state machine we have already seen in the last class you can notice in this in this you can notice that you have some set of states this is a state this is a state this is a state this is a state so four state we have so you can notice we have a set of states we have an initial state when you reset when you reset your system then your initial state so there is an initial state so you can notice that in this finite state machine in this finite state machine which is a transducer okay in this also you have set of states and there is an initial state there is an initial state and you can notice there is this input okay this is you can notice this is your input this is your input and you can notice this is your output okay so you can also notice that there is some input alphabet and there is some output alphabet okay there is some input alphabet and there is some output alphabet so this is your i can say this is your input alphabet okay from here you take the inputs so this is your input alphabet this is your output alphabet this is your output alphabet okay so you can notice so set of states and initial state and input alphabet and output alphabet and also there is something called there is a transition function and there is output function and there is something called output function so remember this is a state transition function how to go from one state to another so this is a state transition function and this is output function this is output function okay so this this is okay so you can notice in a transducer we don't have final state because transducer okay what is the difference between automata and transducer this you already know okay because you know that automata okay like dfa nfa okay this dfa nfa these machines so in the automata what you have you give some input okay you give some input and okay the answer will be yes or no the answer will be yes or no okay so this is your automata but what happens in the transducers but what happens in the transducers transducers okay example what are the transducers i told you that milli machine this is a transducer uh, i told you that more machine this is a transducer i told you sequence circuit is a transducer okay sequence circuit all these things are basically transducer okay uh, we are calling them finite state machine actually these are also finite state machine but these are language recognizers these are automata and these are also finite state machine but they are transducers transducers means they compute function okay basically they compute function now you can notice that this transducer what it will do you give input w and the output will be some function of w okay some function of w so they will compute function okay for example they can they can compute ones complement twos complement okay so they can compute function so you can notice in the transducer we don't have the concept of final state here we have something called final state okay some set of states initial state okay and the input string the state transition function okay this is the input alphabet and this is the state transition function how to go from one state to another and also there is a final state this is to accept okay to accept the strings but this concept we don't have in this transducer in this transducer we don't accept or reject this transducer we don't accept or reject what we do in this transducer we take some string and we compute some function so this transducer will compute some function that is the point okay so this this is computing some function so in the transducer we don't have any concept of uh, i can say final state okay so this concept we don't have so you can notice from this 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 transducer we have already seen this finite state machine we have already seen in this finite state machine you can notice we have some set of states we have initial state we have input alphabet we have output alphabet we have state transition function state transition function means from one state to another state how can we go so we have state transition function and we also have something called output function so this is the definition of finite state machine this is the definition okay and remember this is a deterministic because remember okay why this is deterministic because in real life okay everything is deterministic every machine is deterministic you can notice these are theoretical concepts so let me tell you these are these automata these are actually theoretical concept okay these are okay i can say these are theoretical okay so these are theoretical concepts what it means 
it means that because they are the theoretical concept so this non determinism this type of things we study deterministic finite automata non deterministic finite automata this type of things we study like non determinism okay so you can notice these are theoretical concepts so that is the reason we study non determinism but in the real life in the practical life in the real life for example in the real life we have sequencer circuit okay in the real life we have this sequencer circuit mule mule machine mule machine so in these we don't have this non determinism concept okay so remember this non determinism this is a theoretical concept non determinism this is a theoretical concept okay so that is the reason i can say that these transducers these are basically deterministic okay these transducers that we study okay mille machine mure machine and sequencer circuit these are the transducers that we study and these are basically deterministic okay so this is the definition i can say finally this is the definition of finite state machine okay i hope this definition is clear to everyone okay so you can notice this is the uh, okay now we study two very special type of machines so remember finite state machine the definition we have already seen set of states there is a initial state there is a input alphabet there is a output alphabet okay there is a input alphabet and there is a output alphabet and what we have and we have something called a state transition function and we have output function so remember this this is the definition and this is determinist this is the definition of a finite state machine okay so this this is actually this is the definition of finite state machine finite state this is the definition of a finite state machine or i can say transducer or i can say transducer definition so this is the definition of transducer now we study two very special type of transducer okay so this fi many finite state machines we have many transducers we have okay so remember many transducers we have many finite state machines we have okay so for example we have something called mille machine okay this mille machine we have there is something called mure machine these are like like you have automata like you have different different automata for example as you know you have finite automata correct okay so this finite automata you many different okay for example you have okay deterministic finite automata you have non deterministic finite automata so like this you have okay you have finite automata different type of finite automata you have similarly different type of transducer we have one is mille machine one is mure machine and there are some more but these are in the syllabus okay so we will study this mille machine mure machine okay now what is the definition of mille machine what is the definition of mure machine okay remember these are special type of uh, finite state machines so i can say these are special type of finite state machine these are actually i can say special or i can say these are two types of i can say these are special types of or i can say these are two types of finite state these are basically two types of finite state machines okay or i can say these are two types of transducer okay now let's focus on this so we will study mille machine mure machine these two machines we have to study okay and now let's <laughs> see the definition of mille machine and mure machine so remember let me tell you this is the definition you know this is the definition of finite state machine you have set of states there is a initial state there is a input alphabet there is a output alphabet okay there is a output alphabet and there is a state transition function and there is a output function okay now let me tell you the difference between mille machine and mure machine the only difference remember the only difference is how th this is the only difference okay means everything else is same everything else is same in this mille machine mure machine everything else is same in these two concepts in these two models everything else is same the only difference is this output function so remember this output function is the only change everything else is same okay so i can say that how okay how we define this output function this is the only change okay so this is the only change so you can notice in this mille machine i will uh, in this mille machine the output depends on what is your current state and what is the current input so actually i can say this w okay this output okay this output i can say in this mille machine i can say that this output this is a function of this is a function of what is your present state what is your present state and what is your input and what is your input so you can notice the output i can say the output will depend on these two things in which state you are so i can say your output is in which state you are in which state you are okay and what is the input symbol that you are reading what is the input symbol this is the input alphabet okay so in which state you are and what is the input symbol that you are reading in or these two things then we say okay then what will be the output okay so depending on that 
okay uh, you will create the output okay so you can notice in the mille machine output depends on project state and input on these two things in mure machine okay this output is a function of project state that's it so the project state only the project state okay so this output is basically a function of i can say this is a function of project state so this is the only difference there is no other difference remember there is no other difference this is the only difference everything else is same okay so whether you have mille machine or more machine so remember fsm set of states so some states you have there is a initial state this is the input alphabet this is the output alphabet okay and this is the state transition function this is the output function see the state transition function what this means it means that from one state how are we going to another state this is your state transition function okay so what is this this is the state transition function this is the state transition function from one state how are we going to another state this is same in mille machine more machine in mille machine more machine this is same remember the only difference is output function everything else is same so in both mille machine and more machine the state transition function is same what it means that if you are in some state you are in some state and what input you are okay reading then you are going to some state this is your state transition function you are in some state okay you are reading some symbol you are reading some input symbol and then you are going to some state so this is that is the reason this is called state transition function how how we go from one state to another okay and this is state transition function this is same okay this is same for mille and mure machine okay so the only difference in mille and mure machine this is the output function okay so the output function has the difference nothing else is any, anything anything else everything else is same okay so in the mille machine what happens in the mille machine the output will depend on two things okay so you can notice let me create the mille machine and more machine for some example okay so you can create here you can check this what this this machine is what okay just focus on this machine okay find this machine is this mille machine or more machine just check it out okay so this is your finite state machine okay so you can notice this is a finite state machine okay now is it mille machine or more machine this is the question okay so tell me is it mille machine or more machine so you can notice that in this you have a set of states so three states you have q0 q1 q2 these are the three states now all you have to check is output function so you can notice output depends on okay output depends on what is your current state and what is all your uh, input so you can notice this is your input this is your input and this is your output this is your output so you can notice that output depends on two things so here very easily you can notice the output actually depends on what output actually depends on output is a function of state output is a function of state comma what is the input alphabet so output is a function of that because remember here you can notice if you are in this state q0 and if the input q0 comma 0 so you can notice if you are in this state q0 and the input is 0 and the input is 0 then the output will be 0 then the output will be zero okay so you can notice similarly you can notice if you are in this state q0 and the input is one then the output will be zero okay similarly you can notice if you are in this state q1 and the input is zero in this state q1 if this input is zero then the output will be zero in this state q1 if the input if the input is one in this state q1 if the input is one then the output also will be one so you can notice that the output depends on state okay the output depends on state so the output actually depends on state and output depends on input so that is the reason this is mille machine so i can say finally this is a mille machine mille machine in the mille machine the output depends on okay state comma input okay so this is the point so this is a mille machine okay and you can notice i told you that a mille machine is a transducer so this this mille machine actually what it will do okay so let us assume the input so this is your milli machine okay so this is your previous milli machine now let us assume the input is this okay so let me give you the input okay and uh, let's assume input is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. okay this is your input then what will be the output okay so you can notice if your input is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. okay and the initial state is q0 so this is the initial state okay now you can notice this is the initial state so in the initial state q0 if the input is 0 in this initial state q0 if the input is 0 then the output will be what in this initial state if the input is 0 then the output will be 0 so you can notice output will be here output will be 0 okay so you cannot this is the input string i can say this is your input string 
okay and what output you will generate auto gen this is your output generated this is your output produced okay so you can notice okay in this state q0 if you see this input 0 then the output will be 0 and where will you go you will go to q1 okay so where will you go you will go to q1 in this q1 in this q1 if you see this 0 then what will be the okay in this q1 if you if you see the input 0 then the output will be 0 and you will go to q1 okay so again the output will be 0 and you will again go to q1 okay and next you can notice that in this state q1 if you see this one in this state q1 if you see one in, in this state q1 if the input is 1 then the output will be 1 and you will go to q2 okay so here output will be 1 you can notice output will be 1 and you will go to q2 okay in this q2 if you see 0 in this q2 if the input is 0 if the input is 0 then output will be 1 and you will go to q1 okay so the output will be 1 and you will go to q1 okay and next you can notice in this q1 if the input is 1 then you will go to q2 and output will be 1 output will be 1 and you will go to q2 in q2 if input is 1 in this in state q2 if the input is 1 then output will be 0 and you will go to q2 so here the output will be 0 and you will go to q2 okay so this is the point okay now you can notice so finally this is the output that is produced so the output is what okay 0 0 1 1 1 0 okay so for this input this is the output that is produced this is what i am telling you I am telling you that melee machine is a transducer. This melee machine, okay, this melee machine, this is a transducer. This is a transducer. What it means? It will, it, okay, this is a transducer. What it means? It means that this melee machine computes function. Okay, this melee machine, this will compute a function. Okay, so for example, if you give some string w, then some function will be computed. For example, you can notice, okay, here you can. Uh, in this example you can notice if this is your w if this is your w then this is your f w okay so you can notice melee machine is a transducer which computes function okay so in the melee machine you can notice you have some set of states so this is a melee machine and you can very easily see here you have some set of states so you can notice this is your melee machine okay here you have some set of states you have initial state all these things so let's write down all these things initial state input alphabet output alphabet and a state transition function and output function so let's write down so three states you have you can notice in this in this melee machine you can notice there are three states q0 q1 q2 okay so this q0 q1 q2 these are the three states okay initial state is q0 so this initial state is q0 and what is the input alphabet you can notice input alphabet is 0 comma 1 this is the input alphabet and what is the output alphabet output alphabet is also 0 comma 1 that is also uh, uh output alphabet and what is this state transition function this state transition function you can notice okay you are in some state in this state if you read some input okay then you will go to some other state for example okay you are in this state q0 and if you read 0 then where will you go in this state q0 if you read 0 then you are going to q1 so this is the state transition remember this is a state transition function okay so this we have already seen this is a state transition how we go from one state to another so this is your state transition function okay for example if you are in state q1 and you read one then where will you go in state q1 if you read one then you will go to state q2 like this okay like this this is your state transition function and what is the output function this is your output function okay and i told you okay output function okay in melee machine what is the definition you already know in melee machine i can say that this output function this actually depends on two things okay what is your state and what is your input okay so this will depend on two things so i can say output function you are in some state you read some input then some output will be produced okay some output is going to be produced for example you are in state q0 if you read 0 then what output will be produced in state q0 if the input is 0 then the output that is produced is 0 okay similarly in state q1 if you read 1 then the output that will be produced is 1 similarly in q2 in q2 you can notice in q2 if you read 1 then the output will be produced is 0 so this is your output function so in the melee machine output function depends on state comma input on these two things so this is your melee machine i hope the concept is clear okay now similarly we have something called mure machine in the mure machine the output will depend on state okay so the output will only depend on the state for example consider this okay let us see this you can notice this is a mure machine in the mure machine what we do because okay every 
with every state we write the output because you can notice output depends on the state okay so like this what we do you can notice in the miller machine this is what we do in the miller machine what we do okay the the output depends on the input comma state so you can notice like this we do you are in this state if you read this input then this output will be produced so you can notice in the miller machine we write like this that okay in this state if you read this input then this output will be there okay similarly in this state if you read this input then this output will be there okay in this state if you read this input then this output will be produced so this is how we how we design the miller machine okay and now in the murray machine what happens in the murray machine output depends only on the current state so what we do with the state we write the output okay like in this state what is the output okay similarly in this state what is the output so like this we do okay so this is the point okay this is your murray machine now for example this is your murray machine okay now in this murray machine you can notice if you are in this state q0 then the output will be zero in this state q0 if you are here in this state q0 if you are here then the output produced will be zero in state q1 the output that will be printed will be one zero okay in this state q3 output that will be printed is one in state q4 this is the output that will be printed in state q q2 this will be the output that will be printed okay so you can notice that let us this is your murray machine again you can notice murray machine is also a transducer what it means you give some string and you you will give some uh, some function will be computed for example let us assume that this string that i am giving is 0 1 0 0 okay now let us see what will happen here 0 1 1 0 0 okay you okay initial state this is the initial state you can notice this q0 is the initial state okay so this q0 is the initial state now because this q0 is the initial state okay now so in this state whenever you are in this state then zero will be produced so, okay so what you will do then in this state automatically zero will be produced because remember whenever you are in this state then zero will be produced okay so here itself okay so this is your input string this is your input string okay and what is the output produced i can say what is the output printed or produced so you can notice because you are in this initial state so definitely zero will be produced in the whenever you are in this state then zero will be produced okay now okay in this state q0 if you read this zero then what will happen in this state q0 if you read zero then you will go to q1 and this q this zero will be produced you will go to q1 you can notice you okay in this state q0 if you read zero then you will go to q1 and in this q1 state this output zero will be produced so in this is q1 state because of this q1 state output zero will be produced okay similarly in this q1 state if you see this one in this q1 state if you read the input one then you will go to q3 and in this q3 state okay output one will be printed so you will go to q3 and because of this q3 one will be printed okay next you can notice in this q3 if you see one okay then what will happen in this q3 if you read one then you will go to q2 and in this q2 state zero out, output zero will be produced so you will go to q2 and zero will be produced okay and you can notice in this q2 if you read zero in this state q2 if you read zero if you if the input is zero then you will go to q4 in this q4 state output one will be printed so you will go to state q4 and in this because of this state output uh, sorry output one will be printed output one will be printed okay and finally in this state q4 when you read zero in this state q4 when you read uh, the symbol zero when you read the symbol zero then you will go to state q1 in this state q1 output zero will be produced so you will go to state q1 you can notice okay here is state q1 you will go and in this state q1 output zero will be produced okay so final point is this if this is your input then what is the output you can notice output is zero zero one zero one zero okay so you can notice this is the output okay in the murray machine this is how you can you can uh, this is how you can implement uh, this is how you can execute the murray machine now remember one thing let me tell you here okay this like in the in okay here here without reading anything without reading anything we are printing this zero okay see without reading anything we are printing this zero this is this is author convention so remember this is a author convention whether we should print this zero here without reading anything whether we should print zero or not that is a author convention so remember this is a note you can take it okay okay so you can notice that uh, without reading anything in murray machine okay do we do we print this do we print this output okay so this is this is my question so my question is 
without reading anything okay so you can notice here okay this is your input string 0 1 1 0 0 this is your input string okay and this is your initial state in the initial state but you can notice this look at this zero look at this zero okay you can notice one thing that without reading anything we are not reading anything without reading anything okay we are printing this zero because you can notice in this state q0 we should print zero because the output depends on only the state so if you are in this state q0 then you should print zero okay so you can notice without reading anything without reading anything we are printing this zero okay this first zero we are printing so this first zero we are printing without reading anything okay should we do this should we do this this is my question should we do this and the answer is this is author dependent so remember some authors they produce this first uh, output and some authors they do not produce this first output okay this first output remember this first output i can say let me call it let me call it this uh, uh, let me call it this pre output okay let me call this pre output okay because we are not reading the string we are not without reading without reading without starting the input string this pre output we have okay so remember it depends on the author there are some authors okay there are some authors there are some authors okay they print this pre output they print this pre output i can say okay they print this pre output okay and there are some authors they don't print this pre output basically this pre output is not printed by them okay they don't print pre output they don't print or i can say produce pre output so remember this is author dependent so you don't have to worry about it in the gate exam if if uh, if it is uh, like if it is affecting your answer then they will mention it so from the gate exam point of view you do not have to worry because remember there are many authors they print this pre output and there are many authors they do not print this pre output so this is a author dependent thing whether you should print this or not okay without reading the input string in the beginning in the beginning should we print this uh, first output or not that is author dependent so remember according to some authors this will be the answer and according to some authors this will be the answer okay so this is the point okay i hope this point is clear to everyone so now you can notice this machine look at this machine is this Mille machine or Mure machine? Just notice this. Is it Mille machine or Mure machine? Okay. So you can notice this is a this is a Mille machine because uh, you can notice the output depends on state comma input. So remember, this is your input. If your input is zero in this state A, if the input is zero, then this is the output. So your output is zero zero. Okay. Similarly, you can notice in this state C, if the input is zero, then the output will be zero one. Then the output will be zero one so okay so let's run this so for example let us assume this is your melee machine okay and a string w you have this okay zero zero one zero one okay let us assume this is your string then what will be the output okay so this is your input string you can notice this is the input string so what is the output string so this is what we need to find okay very simple zero zero one zero one okay so let's let's see this very simple okay zero zero one zero one so you can notice this is your initial state so let us assume this is the initial state in this initial state you can notice if the input is zero then what you will do you will print zero zero okay so for this actually zero zero will be printed okay next you will go to state a in this state a again another zero then again you will print zero zero again you will print zero zero okay next if this one comes in this state a if input one comes then you will print zero one and you will go to state b so here zero one will be printed and you will go to state b in state b if input zero comes in this state b if input zero comes then you will print zero one and you will go to state a in state a if one comes in this state a if this one comes then you will print zero one and you will go to state b okay so that's it so this is your output you can notice okay so to this melee machine this is your melee machine okay this is the previous melee machine if this input you give zero zero one zero one then this output will be produced so you can notice this output will zero 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 one zero one zero one okay this output will be produced okay so this is the idea okay so you can notice in a melee machine you can notice that in a melee machine the output the output okay you can this the output is a function of present state and the current input okay so this is the definition of melee machine okay uh, in the melee machine the output function the output function that depends on what is your present state and what is your uh, input symbol then you will uh, then you will create the output basically okay 
so this is the idea now you can take this example this is a milli machine what it means it means that in this state q0 if the input is 1 then the output will be c you can notice if the input string is 1 okay if your this is your string 1010 zero, zero, this is your input string okay if this is your input string then what will be the output the very simple that in the initial state when you read this one okay then what will be the output the output will be what so you can notice when you read this one in the in this initial state when you read the input one then output that will be produced is c okay then if you read zero then the output will be produced is a okay now you are in the state q1 in state q1 if you read one then the output will be produced is a in this okay now you will go to okay uh, state q1 in the state q1 if you read zero then the output will be produced is b okay so this is the output that will be produced so this milli machine will print okay this c double a b for this input string so this is the idea of melee machine okay also we have seen that in the melee machine more machine these are transducer okay so there is no concept of final state remember there is no concept of final state i told you these are transducer these are not language acceptor so we don't have final state okay so they these melee machine and more machine they will take some input okay and they will produce some output okay so remember this melee machine and more machine they will take some input some input will be coming some input will be coming and some output will be produced okay so you can notice there is no concept of final state because these mille machine more machine these are not uh, language recognizer these are transducers okay so you can notice this is the mille machine that is given to you and for this mille machine you can just check it out you can take it as a homework that for this mille machine if this is your string if this is your input string a okay this if this is your input string then the output string will be this you can just take it as a homework okay so you can notice here what is the input alphabet input alphabet is a comma b output alphabet is 0 comma 1 okay so you can notice that in this state q1 okay very easily you can notice in this state q1 okay in this state uh, q1 if the input is b if the input is b then the output will be 1 okay so this is your output function i am telling you about output function so you can notice in this state b uh, in this state q1 if you read b if the input is b then the output will be 1 similarly in this state q3 in this state q3 you can notice if the input is a if the input is a then the output will be 1 you can notice okay in this q3 if the input is a output will be 1 so you can notice that if this is your input then the output will be this you can check it out you can take it as a homework okay let us take this question this milli machine is given to you and this question is asking what this milli machine is doing basically okay so in the gate exam if they give you this type of question like what this milli machine is doing what this more machine is doing if this type of question they give you then you can take some example and you can eliminate option for example take okay take some string okay let me take some string for example if your input string so let me take input string as okay a b okay a b b and then okay b a a so let me take this string then what will be the output so let me check it out okay so for this string a b a triple b a okay so what will be the output you can notice okay when you see this a in this state sorry initial state is q0 you can notice this is the initial state in the initial state you can notice if you see a then output will be 0 okay here output will be 0 okay next now you are in this state q1 in this state q1 if you see b then the output will be 0 okay output again will be 0 in this state q2 if you see a then the output again will be 0 okay now in this state q1 if you see b if you see b then the output again will be 0 okay so here again output will be 0 in this state q2 if you see b then the output will be 1 now here output will be 1 okay in this state q2 if you see b output will be 1 and then if you see a output will be 0 and if you see a then the output will be uh, okay in this state in this state if you see a in this state q1 if you see a then the output will be 1 okay so this is the idea now let me tell you actually what is happening here okay here uh, you can take some more examples and you can check it out okay in the gate exam some options will be given to you one two three four options will be given you can eliminate the options very easily okay now you let me tell you by taking some more examples you can observe something okay what is the observation let me make okay so let me let me tell you this is the initial state you can notice when the, for the first symbol whether the first symbol is a or whether the first symbol is b you can notice we are printing zero can you notice that okay what this machine is doing let me do the analysis okay the analysis so let me do the analysis let me do you can notice one thing in the initial state in the initial state 
first symbol first symbol can be a or b the output will be zero okay so if your first symbol lord let us assume your first symbol is a then definitely out okay the first symbol can be a or the first symbol can be b you can notice the first symbol can be a or the first symbol can be b you can notice if the first symbol is a or b the output definitely will be zero okay now you can notice okay now after this first symbol a if the second symbol is a you can notice if the second symbol is a then the output will be one so if the second symbol is a you can notice output will be one now if another a comes the output will be one now if another a comes output will be one okay now if b comes in this state q1 if b comes then output will be zero if b comes output will be zero okay now you can notice if another b comes output will be one if another b comes output will be one another b comes output will be one if a comes output will be zero okay and if a comes then output will be one you can make this observation this is a very simple analysis okay now okay similarly you can notice that if the first symbol is b then the output will be zero okay if the first symbol is b then the output will be zero now if the second symbol is b then definitely output will be one if the next symbol is also the, the next symbol is also b then the output will be one okay now if the next symbol is a output will be zero if the next symbol is a then the output will be one if the next symbol is b output will be zero if the next symbol is a output will be zero if the next symbol is a output will be one can you observe something can you observe what is here or better what is happening here so let me tell you let me tell you observation is very simple observation is this if the first symbol is a or b output will be zero but you can notice after the first a if another a comes then the output will be, will be one so for the first occurrence of a for the first occurrence of a output will be zero but for the next occurrence of a output will be one similarly for the first occurrence of b output will be zero but for the next occurrence of b output will be one okay so you can notice here actually what is happening here let me tell you this is happening that for the first occurrence of a output is zero but for this second occurrence output is one this is another you can use the consecutive occurrence here also output one output one now this is the first occurrence of b so output is zero this is the second occurrence so output one second occurrence output one okay so second or third or something okay now here you can notice first occurrence output is zero first occurrence of b output is zero second occurrence of b output is one next occurrence of b output is one this is the first occurrence of a so output is zero okay this is the second occurrence of a so output is one now this is again now no, okay now this is again first occurrence of b so output is zero now this is again first occurrence of a so output is zero okay this is the second occurrence of a so output is one okay so i hope you can uh, you can see what is happening here okay so this is what is happening so you can notice that you can notice that this is the answer okay this is the answer that okay when do we print one we print one when when okay when uh, for the for the second letter in the pair okay so for example here when will we okay here for this string when will we print one so here will we we will print zero here we will print zero here we will print zero here we will print zero but now this is the second a so we will print a okay this is the first b print zero first a print zero first b print zero this is the second b so print one this is the first a so print zero okay so this is the idea okay this is what this machine is doing remember in the gate exam if they give you this question then you can take some string you can take some input string some uh, two three strings you can take and you can eliminate the options okay like this you can do okay now let us see this question what this machine is doing okay this is a melee machine you can notice okay this machine is doing what there is only one state in this state you can notice if zero is coming the output will be one if the one is coming the output will be zero so what this is doing you can notice okay take some example and you can notice what what this machine is doing okay so in this machine for example if your input is this okay let me assume that your input is 0 1 0 0 1 okay then what will be the output then what because only one only one state is there there is no other state only one state is there now you can notice if the input is 0 output will be 1 if the input is 1 output will be 0 so if the input is 1 0 output will be 1 input 1 output 0 input 0 output 1 input 0 output 1 input 1 output 0 so can you notice this machine is basically doing the ones complement this is actually i can say this is the ones complement so this this machine this mele machine is is computing this mele machine is computing the ones complement so this machine is called complementing machine actually this because this is giving you ones complement actually this machine is computing the ones complement of the input string so whatever input string you give okay 
the output will be once complement for example okay if you okay this is your machine you can notice this machine is this this is your machine that okay if zero comes output should be one and if one comes output should be zero now if you give this input for example zero zero one zero one zero okay then the output will be what output will be one one zero one zero one so you can notice this machine this machine is doing the ones complement okay so this fw this fw is actually ones complement of w this is what this machine is doing okay now let's see what is the more machine we have already seen in the more machine output will depend on the state okay so you can notice every state has some associated output with every state with every state some output is associated okay so whenever you enter that state that output will be produced okay so this is the point okay so remember and the first output you can notice the first output whether you will produce or not that depends on the author i told you okay some authors they do not produce some authors they they will produce so for example this is a more machine you can notice in this machine you can notice this is the initial state okay this q0 is the initial state okay and in if you are in q0 then you will print 0 if you are in q1 you will print 1 okay so now let's take some example now you can notice uh, assume that your input let me assume that your input is this okay let me assume that your input is 100110 okay so let's assume this is your input now okay then what will be the output okay so you can notice this is your more machine because with every out uh, with every state we have output associated okay so the output actually depends on the state whenever you will enter state q1 then output 1 will be printed whenever you will enter into q0 then output 0 will be printed okay so if this is your input then what will be the output so remember let me tell you one thing so according to some authors so this is your input one triple zero double one zero one okay so this is your input that is one triple zero double one zero one okay and okay and so okay one triple zero double one zero one so let me tell you that according to some authors there are some authors i told you there are some authors what they do they they will do like this the initial state what the initial state initial state is zero correct okay so because initial state is zero now because you are in the initial state is zero so automatically zero will be produced so because initial state is zero so this zero will be produced okay you can notice this is your initial state and whenever you are in this state q0 then zero will be produced so zero will be printed so you can notice because of this q0 zero will be printed remember at this point of time we did not read the string this string we did not read without reading the string this is the pre output i can say i can say this is the pre output of more machine i can say this is the pre output of more machine without reading the input this is the pre output of more machine remember some authors they include this and there are some other some authors they do not include this there are some authors they do not include this they do not print this pre output okay so remember some authors don't print pre output they don't print pre output okay and there are some authors they print pre output so this is what i want to say okay remember some authors they print pre output and some authors they do not print pre output okay so this is the point so some authors okay don't uh, they okay they print some authors they print pre output okay so you can notice okay anyway uh, so it does not matter basically you don't have to worry about this pre output okay you don't have to worry okay anyway now now you can notice that in this q0 okay whenever you are in this q0 whenever you are in this q0 then you will print zero okay so if the uh, the symbol is one then you will go to q1 so you will print one okay and in this q1 if zero is coming in this q1 if zero is coming you will remain in q1 okay so if zero is coming you will print one you will print one you will print one okay and then if one comes you will go to q0 if one comes you will go to q0 and you will print zero and if another one comes you will go to q1 and you will print one if zero comes if zero comes then again you will print one and if one comes then what you will do you will print zero okay so this is the idea okay so remember this is the output according to some authors so this is the output according to some authors this is the output okay so you can notice so this output is according to some authors i can say 
okay so uh, so this is the output according to some authors so let me write it here okay and uh, the remaining authors okay according to them answer will be okay one 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 and then zero then one then one and then zero so according to other authors this will be the so the only difference is this 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 pre output should you include this or not that depends on the authors remember okay so you do not have to worry about it okay so anyway this is the point so more machine we have already seen this is a more machine you can notice okay in this more machine you can notice this is the initial state q0 in this state whenever you come to this state then empty string will be printed empty string okay so this is your empty string whenever you go to state q2 one will be printed whenever you go to state q1 zero will be printed okay so like this you can very easily do okay you can take some example and you can check it out so in this in this uh, for example in this you can notice if your input just assume that your input is let us assume 0 1 1 0 okay this is your input then what will be the output you can notice output will be what this is your initial state in the initial state you are printing empty string so this is the empty string now if the first symbol is 0 then you will go to q2 and in q2 you will print 1 okay in q2 you will print 1 okay now uh, if the in state q2 you will go so in state q0 in state q0 if you read this 0 then you will go to q2 and you will print 1 in state q2 if you read 1 then you will go to q1 and uh, you will print 0 okay similarly in state uh, in in this state q1 if you read 1 then you will go to q1 and you will print 0 in this state q1 if you read 0 you will go to q2 and you will print 1 so this is the output okay like this you can do this is another you can notice this is also more machine you can check it out this will divide the input in half so basically this is dividing by two okay this more machine is dividing by two basically okay you can take any example and you can check it out for example let us assume you have this uh, okay uh, input so you can notice here if if your input just assume that your input is 100 then what will be the output so for this output you can just check it out okay this is the initial state okay so in the initial state you are printing zero okay so anyway now when you read this one in the initial state you are printing zero you can notice okay now when you see this symbol one then where will you go then you will go to uh, this state and you will print zero okay and so in this state uh, if, if you read this one then you will go to this state and you will print zero okay and in this state if you read zero then you will print one okay you will print one okay now again another zero if you see then you will print a zero so you can notice your input is four this is your input input is four and the output is two so you can notice this input is four and the output is two you can just check it out for example if your input let me tell you if your input is five if your input is five then your output actually will be two because this is dividing by two basically okay the uh, what is the quotient when you divide by two so here also you can notice one zero one okay so you can you can very easily see when you okay read this one then zero will be printed then zero comes okay if the zero comes one will be printed and if one comes okay if the one comes then zero will be printed so you can notice output is a two so this more machine this is dividing by two okay so we have seen mele machine more machine okay uh, all the things the definition and some examples we have seen in the next class in the next few lectures we will take many questions many gate exam questions also we will take all the gate exam questions i am going to take and i am going to solve them okay so if there is any doubt you can ask in the comments okay thank you